they told me 4.30. So somebody doesn't know how to tell time. <laughs> Hallelujah. We met a lot of traffic on the freeway. And uh, I don't move as fast as I used to. So, <clears throat> But I'm so glad to be here. And with my pastor friend. Uh, that invited us. Uh, I hope he does not regret that he invited us. Hallelujah. It's nice to see uh, a lot of you folks here. Uh, I've heard so much of Ethiopia, right? I've heard so much. <clears throat> I was asking the pastor, do you people still have a million members? He said, oh, no. So he scared me. I thought maybe you had lost members. He says, no, we don't have a million. He said, we have five million. I said, wow. <laughs> that is very good. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, he said, I don't have to speak in Ethiopian. He said, I can preach in English. All right. I'm not long-winded. I'm short. 30 minutes at the most. Okay? But uh, if you don't praise God while I'm preaching, I get nervous. And uh, once, once I get nervous, I don't know when to stop. Okay, so don't make me nervous. Can somebody shout amen? amen? Okay, let me see what side I'm going to preach to. I, I wonder if I'm going to preach to this side or if I'm going to preach to this side. No, wait, no, I don't know yet. I don't know. I like to preach to the ones that shout the loudest. <laughs> Okay? Okay, here we go. When I say Jesus, this sign, shout amen, raise your hands and see how much you can shout. When I say Jesus, let me check you out. Jesus! Uh, that was pretty good. Jesus! Okay. Okay, we serve the God of the second chance. Jesus. Jesus. Ooh. I'm going to preach this side. All right, God bless you. Let's read our scriptures here. Uh, Isaiah. Chapter 10, verse 27. They don't have a screen up here. All right. To give the verses, that's okay. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. And then 2 Corinthians. Yeah, Yengeli Zinyao, excuse me, sir. Yengeli Zinyao, and Wada Marinyan, the Taragumala Chumut Falugu, Wado Hala Takamatu. If you need interpretation no. from the English to Amharic, please sit back. No, that's okay. That's okay. You ready? Isaiah 10, 27. And then 2 Corinthians 1, verse 21 and 22. We will read Isaiah 10, 27. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. The yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. How many of you are anointed today? Not too many, huh? Because of the anointing. Okay? 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 
verse 21 and 22. Now he which established us with you in Christ and hath anointed us is God. The Lord has anointed his church. We are the anointed of God who hath also sealed us and given the earnest of the spirit in our hearts. When he baptizes with the Holy Ghost, he anointed us. Somebody say amen. amen. All right, you may be seated. Now, this is my thought for today, for this congregation. I read verses on the anointing of God, right? Verses on the anointing of God. It's very important to be anointed. It is very important to be anointed of God. But here's what I'm going to preach about today for just for a while. Beware, beware of counterfeit anointing. There's a lot of counterfeit religion out there. Hallelujah. The word to be anointed means to be set aside for a sacred use. Now, the devil is a master in blinding the minds of God's people. He is a master. He is a master deceiver. Now, there are certain signs of the end time. Certain signs of the times we are living in. Matthew 24, 5 says, Many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Chapter 24, verse 24. There shall arise false Christ. False prophets. Shall show great signs. And wonders. And if possible. If possible. They shall deceive. The very elect. Even those that have been baptized in Jesus' name. Even those that have received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Even those that have been baptized in Jesus' name. We have to understand the days that we're living in. Satan is not a dummy. The preachers do not come saying, I am Christ. Preachers do not come saying, I am Christ. Because if they say, I am Christ, that makes them Christians. But they come saying, they say, I am anointed. 
Now the Lord said, many will come saying, I am Christ. Now, the word Christ means anointed one. So when they say we are anointed, they're fulfilling the prophecy of Lord, of Jesus. When he said many false deceivers will come, saying I am, saying I am Christ. But the devil is not dumb. He does, they don't say we are Christ. They say we are anointed. Which means the same thing. And that's how they deceive the people. In the eternities of God, the eternities of God. In the garden of God, in the heavens. There was an archangel whose name was Lucifer. Lucifer and God's favorite. And the Bible calls him. The anointed cherub. He was anointed of God. But here's the thing. What he had, what he had, he lost it. Lucifer lost his anointing. And he became the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So then Jesus came yes, years later. And the Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Is Jesus because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. The anointing that Lucifer had, Lucifer now Jesus had. What Lucifer lost, Jesus took it over. Somebody say amen. Now here's the thing about Jesus, which confuses everybody. The Lord said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. And the reason they wanted to stone Jesus, they wanted to stone the Lord, the Lord asked the Pharisees, false religion, for what good works do you stone me? What have I done? We don't stone you because of your good works. We want to stone you because you being a man make yourself God. And that's been the problem with the religious world today. It was not a man claiming to be God. It was God claiming to be a man. God was manifest in the flesh. And I'm going to tell you something. God has never had a son. God doesn't have a son. The secret is this. And the revelation is this. He has never had a son. God became a son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the flesh he became a son. There is three in heaven. There's only one. His name is Jesus.
You understanding me? You got what you all know. Praise God. Yes, we must go. Devil hated Adam and Jesus. Devil hated Adam and Jesus. They hated Adam and uh, the devil hates them. Satan, Jesus, and Adam and Taltual. Now, why does he hate them? Lemon no mitalacho. And why does he hate the church? Lemon no better Christian and mitalao. Because when you receive the Holy Ghost, and God forgive you your sins, what the devil had, he gave it to you. The anointing that the devil had, now I have it. That belongs to me. He didn't want it. I love it. He didn't appreciate it. I love it. And when he gave to me, he gave to you. What he lost, we have. They were used to speak in tongues in heaven. But he can't speak in tongues anymore. Because we took its place. Every time I speak in tongues, I send the devil to the pharmacy. I get him sick. That's why he's against many churches speaking in tongues. That's why the religious world speaks against speaking in tongues. Most of the religious churches, you know how they praise God? That's how they praise God. When you're anointed, I said, when you're anointed, the church was born with noise. But I'm the church was born speaking in tongues. It was born shouting up a storm. That is the church that the devil hates. Right now, I just sent him to the pharmacy. I got him sick to his stomach. Because the tongues that he used to speak, now I speak. And I ain't going to give it up. I ain't going to lose it. I enjoy Jesus inside of me. But the stays all low. Where do we come from? I'm going to tell you where we come from. We come from the mouth of God. I said we come from the mouth of God. The spirit of life that we have comes from the mouth of God. We have when he made Adam and Eve, Adam was nothing but a piece of dirty clay. Adam, Adam, dead clay. Couldn't see. Couldn't talk. Couldn't hear. Couldn't walk. Couldn't clap his hands. But then God got right next to his nose. And he went. <laughs> and we went. And we went. That's what he did on the day of Pentecost. Went, the apostles jumped up and all over the place. So spoke in tongues. They had come from the mouth of God. That's where I come from. I'm not just anybody. You're not just anybody. And you're not another religious group. You're a born again group. You're not listening to a Mexican. 
You listen to a child of God. Hallelujah. I'm preaching to. I'm not preaching to Ethiopians. To me, you're not Ethiopians. That's not what you are to me. You know what you are to me? You are sons of God. You're not Ethiopians. You're sons of God. You've been born again. In Jesus' name, that's what you are. Jesus, Jesus. Somebody said, go preach to the Ethiopians. I'm sorry. That's not what I'm doing. I'm preaching to people that have the Holy Ghost. Back in the Old Testament, the prophet was anointed. The priest was anointed. The king was anointed. All of these great officers were anointed. But they were anointed with a man-made ingredients. They were all anointed with olive oil for service. The church has not been anointed with olive oil. We're greater than priests. We're greater than prophets. We're greater than kings. Nobody anointed us with oil. God anointed us with his spirit. We've been anointed with the Holy Ghost. God is not with us. God is in us. That's anointing. Yeah. Devil yeah. hates your gut. Yeah. Because you're doing what he used to do. Yeah. But he yeah. can't yeah. no more. Yeah. So he's jealous of you. Yeah. Why did God give us the Holy Ghost? John 7, 38. The Bible says, He that believeth in me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. This he said of the Holy Ghost. Now he didn't say out of his ears shall flow rivers of living water. He didn't say out of his nose. He didn't say out of his mouth. He said out of his belly. Shall flow rivers of living water. Now why did the Lord say belly? I'm going to tell you why. Those that are falling asleep, I'm going to tell you why. You're going down the highway. You see a sign. McDonald's hamburgers. McDonald's hamburger French fries. French fries and a Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Diet Coke. <laughs> We're all on diets. Some of you better be. And <laughs> down the road. Tacos. Taco. I don't know what you eat over there in Ethiopia. What do they eat over there? Injera. Huh? It's called injera. Injela? Injera. Ra. Injel? Injera. Ra. Injel, huh? Yeah. What is that? 
It's, 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 like, a, it's like a bread, like, it looks like a pancake, and we put sauce like on it. Like a pancake? It. Yeah. It's like a tortilla. It's like a, oh, torti like a tortilla. It's, it's like a tortilla, yes, yes. Right. And you see on the fridge, tortilla. Yeah, it's like, a, yeah, it's like a tortilla. All of a sudden, you start craving a hamburger, you start craving a tortilla, you start craving French fries. Why? Because your stomach. Is what your stomach is what tells you what to desire and begins to what you saw. And the Lord said, I don't even belly shall flow rivers. That means that in your belly he filled you with the Holy Ghost so that you can crave the things of God. The Lord said, I don't even I like noise in a church. I crave noise. We've got to let the world know who we are. You want to be quiet? Then be like the religious world. We are not religious. We've been born again. I don't know if you're liking this. But that, that's the way I preach. Let me tell you something. David said, Psalms number 8, but, but, out of the mouth of babes, and sucklings, you have ordained strength. And he said, God gave his people ordained strength. When Jesus was riding into Jerusalem, the kids were making a lot of noise. And it, borrowed, it, it, it bothered the Pharisees. They got angry because they were making noise. And they asked Jesus, can you hear what they're saying? Jesus said, I ain't deaf. Haven't you ever read Psalms 8? Where David said, out of the mouth of the baby, the you ordained strength. But Jesus did not use the word ordained strength. He translated that word. And he said, haven't you read out of the mouth of the baby? Said, you have perfected praise. The ordained strength, he called it praise. I don't want to tell you what praise is. Praise is not worship. It is not worship. Worship is when you respect the things of God. But praise is not worship. Worship is not to come to church and worship when you have perfected praise. You know what the word praise means? Said, Open your mouth and shout up a storm. When you go to church, you're supposed to open your mouth, make some noise, get excited, send the devil back to hell, send the devil back to the front, open your mouth and get excited. That is praise. That is where you get your strength from. You got a problem? You got a trial? You got a trial? You got your strength from. You got a problem? You got a trial? You're depressed. Nobody loves you. Who cares? Open your mouth and praise him. You'll overcome your depressions. You'll overcome your problems. You'll overcome your sadness. Praise
Glory. Glory. Praise. Praise. Aber es genügt. Perfected praise. Um, for the room is not they can't praise. For the room is God. They don't have the Holy Ghost. So they can't praise. They don't have the Holy Ghost. The religion, the religious world cannot praise God. They don't have the Holy Ghost. They're not anointed. They don't have the Holy Ghost. They don't have the Holy Ghost. They don't have the Holy Ghost. They don't have what the devil used to have. We have it. Praise God. Praise How many of you have it? I have a lot more to say, but I'm almost done here. There's a lot more. But I'm going to finish with this. When the Lord did the world all over again in the book of Genesis, he re rebuilt the earth again in Genesis 1. The, the first thing that the first two verses say in Genesis is this. The Spirit of the Lord moved. First the Spirit. And then the Bible says, and God spoke. And then Adam preserved. In other words, the Spirit prepared. The Spirit prepared. The Word produced. The and Adam preserved. Now watch this. When the church was born, God used the same process with the church. When the church was born, it did not start with preaching. Everybody says preaching is the most important thing. No, it is not. It's one of the important things. The first thing that happened with, on the day of Pentecost in chapter 2 of the book of Acts, they were sitting down and a wind came and blew them off their bench and the spirit began to move and they lost their fears of the Roman Empire they lost their shame and they started dancing like a bunch of drunkards and they started the power came And after the spirit moved, <laughs> then came the word. <laughs> Peter said, <laughs> All of you, oh, you get baptized in Jesus' name Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. <laughs> and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> then the word came. <laughs> and then the church took over. <laughs> The first thing that should happen in any apostolic service or Jesus name service the spirit needs to move people need to shout people need to clap their hands people need to get excited so That's the, the, when you walk through those doors you better run you better clap your hands you better come in speaking in touch it's first the spirit
You want God to use your preacher? Exaber sabakyo chachun di takam You want God to anoint your preacher? Exaber sabakyo chachun di kabas dalachu. Let the spirit move. Majamara ma fasu ikazak. Then he'll get excited. Kazak zaber. Then God will give him a message. What the devil used to have. Now we have it. That's why he's jealous of us. Don't ever stop speaking in tongues. Don't ever stop praising God. Don't ever stop clapping your hands. Don't ever stop shouting up a storm. Okay, I'm done. Charishan. But again, we're gonna do one more thing. Before I sit down. And we're gonna show the devil how ex Ethiopians. Ex Ethiopia Ethiopia we are not Ethiopians anymore. But we're gonna show the devil. Our ex Ethiopians can praise God. to the pharmacy. Send him back to hell. The I don't care if he gets jealous of us. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Those of you that were ex Ethiopian are now Children of God. Sons of God. Hold on. We've got to get the devil real sick today. And jealous. How many of you can come up to this altar right now? And we're going to show the devil what we can do. Who can come? Who can come to this altar? Hold on. Hold on. Who can come? All of you that are anointed, you're going to be here. 
Everybody's anointed here. Wow. Amen. Devil. 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 Satan. We're going to show you what you used to do. But you can't no more. We're going to show you what you had, but now we have. You got it? You got it? When I say Jesus, everybody that's anointed, and not ashamed and can speak in tongues and praise, not worship, praise open up your mouth and show your teeth here we go in the name of Jesus